time value of money. This is probably the most important concept if you want to grow your wealth. Interestingly, this was taught to us way back in school, maybe in 6th or 7th grade. Remember, amount is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus r raised to n. This is the formula to understand how your money grows if invested at a certain interest rate for a certain period, that is n. Let's say that you invest in a bank for a year and after one year the bank will repay you the initial amount plus an interest rate of 8%. So we will have future value equal to present value multiplied by the sum of 1 plus r raised to 1. 1 stands for the time period because it is only one year. So starting from the same equation, let's change amount which stands for future value and principal that stands for present value and just bring down 1 plus r raised to n in the denominator like this. So let's reflect on this with the help of an example. Let's say if you were to get 10,000 rupees in one year and let's say the interest rate in a bank is 8%, what is the value of that 10,000 rupees in today's term? So that is called the present value. So let's apply this formula to get that value. Interestingly, this can also be done in Excel. It can be done in Excel in a very easy way rather than doing these calculations manually. Let's take a simple example of depositing 10,000 rupees in a bank, giving us 8% return for one year. So whenever we start with equal to, the Excel understands that you're about to write a formula. For future value, we have to write FV, bracket starts, the rate is 8%, NPR stands for the time period, which is 1, payment we are not putting here because it's not a payment but a present value that is 10,000 rupees, and we close the bracket. So present value and future value will have opposite signs. So that's why I have kept it minus here so that the result is positive. I can just put it positive here, but our result will be negative then. So the future value is 10,800. So 800 rupees is the interest and 10,000 rupees is the principal. And you can see that if you put minus here, this will turn into positive. So this is the formula or the way you calculate future value in Excel. What about the present value? Well, similarly, you put equal to here with PV stands for present value, bracket 8%. And let's say we are uh, looking at a present value of 10,000 rupees one year from now. NPR is 1, payment is 0 for now, and the future value is 10,000. So 10,000 rupees one year from now, the present value of that is 9,259. Now that you know the concept of future value and present value, it's good time to talk about the impact of inflation on your portfolio. So first of all, let's define what inflation is. Inflation is the rise in general levels of price of everyday goods over a period of time. Due to inflation, a steady income alone is not enough to help you reach your financial goals. For example, the current cost of college admission may be rupees 2 lakhs, but after 5 years, the cost would typically be higher. While saving for a goal, therefore, it is important to estimate the future value of the goal because that is the amount that has to be accumulated. 
so future value of the goal should ideally include current value multiplied by 1 plus inflation rate raised to years to goal that is in how many years you want to achieve your financial goal let's go back to excel to really understand how this works let's say college admission fee is 50 lakh rupees but that happens in five years so i'm just noting this as five years so what would be the value of money that you would need in five years for this college admission so let's say the inflation rate is eight percent so the future value here would be 50 lakhs multiplied by 1 plus r raised to n which is 5 so 50 lakhs 1 plus 8 percent raised to 5 so today's 50 lakhs will convert into 73.46 lakhs in 5 years same can be calculated with the help of a formula that we discussed earlier that is equal to fv rate is 8 percent and per is the time period is 5 payment is 0 for now present value is 50 lakhs so as you can see that if you were saving with 50 lakh rupees in mind in five years you would have fallen short to fund your financial goal it is extremely important to understand the impact of inflation on the requirement of your finances in order to counter this aspect what you need to do is you need to start investing as soon as you can to take advantage of power of compounding and you need to seriously consider those investments that have a track record of beating inflation. Well, we discussed about power of compounding. With respect to your investment options, just stay tuned. We will be discussing those options as well that are used to really beat the inflation. However, we will be talking about those options as well that do not beat the inflation or they just meet the inflation but they are also required to be part of your portfolio.